Hello everybody, welcome back. In this tutorial, I would like to talk about how to detect outliers in your data and what are the ways in order to remove them. Uh, outliers are uh, the values which are different from your normal values in the data set. And in order to have a better predictive model, uh, it is better to remove them. Uh, so I'm using the Airbnb dataset that uh, I have downloaded from Kaggle um, and you may have seen it in my previous tutorial that I have used it several times. So I'm not going into the details of the dataset. <coughs> in this uh, tutorial, I'm just focusing on the target variable, which is the price, which is the price of the Airbnb rooms. Uh, in different location of New York. So in order to know it, uh, let's uh, use this graph in order to find out what are the main um, values that we are dealing with. As you can see, using this graph, we can have different um, description about our variable, such as how many number of the records do we have? What is the mean values? What is the standard deviation? <laughs> Sorry about that. What is the minimum and maximum and different percentile of the value? Uh, so the first step that I'm always doing, especially, uh, not especially, but in the numeric values, is uh, converting them in, or transforming them into um, another value. That here I'm using logarithmic function in order to convert my price variable into logarithmic variable. So there we go, we have uh, the log price, which includes the logarithmic value of, of uh, my price. So let's use um, a series of visualization in order to uh, see how the data is distributed. You can use visualization as a way in order to detect the outliers in your data, such as box plot and sometime distribution or the histogram. So this is the box plot of my uh, logarithmic value. As you can see, most of my um, values are centered between four and six. And the values which are more than um, 6.3 and 3, let's say, and the values which are less than 3 and more than 6.3, uh, more or less, are uh, kind of outliers. Uh, and let's see also these uh, logarithmic values using the histogram. And as you can see, most of the values, as uh, we can see also on the box plot, most of the values are centered between 4 and 6. Uh, so this is a kind of way in order to detect what are the outliers using the visualization. Uh, so there is also another way in order to detect them, uh, to, to detect also the outlier. One of them is using a quantile. Uh, so here I'm using the uh, 10, 0 0.10 and 0 0.95 quantile of my logarithmic price in order to find out what are the, uh, let's say the threshold, which is better to use for the removing of my uh, outliers. So as you can see here, 3.9 and 5.8 can be a good threshold also for removing the outliers. Uh, here I would like to also introduce the SQ function, which is a way in order to find out how much your data is skewed to the left or um, right or it is centered. So I would like to compare the skewness of my logarithmic price and my normal price in order to show you uh, using logarithmic transformation or any other type of transformation, how it can be helpful in order to uh, make your data centric and also remove uh, kind of the outliers. 
So as you can see, this is my skewness after uh, before the logarithmic transformation, which is around 19. And uh, after the transformation, my skewness is 0 0.5. So as you can see, this is a much better situation respect to the normal uh, value. Uh, okay. After this, I would like to also introduce the score, which is another way in order to detect your um, outliers using the data. So here I'm using a stats that the score, and I'm inputting the logarithmic values in order to find out what are the z scores. So here I would like to see what are my values which are having the z-score more than 3 which means that they are um, far from my uh, mean value of uh, price let's say so more than 3 it means that uh, show me the values which are uh, far such as 3 standard deviation from my mean value so there we go here we can see the number of the rows or the observation which are having the score is the score more than three so in order to see one of them i am using 496 which is the first uh, record in order to check its price and as you can see we have the value of 2000 which is among the highest values if I don't go wrong. So as you can see, around 75% of the uh, price values are um, 100, are more or less than 175. So 2000 is one of the outliers as we can see here. So this is another way in order to find it out. And here I wanted to show you also what is the mean of my price which is 152 which is exactly showing how far is the value of um, this value actually so there are different ways in order to remove your uh, outliers you can use any of these methods in order to detect what are the outliers and uh, uh, it is dependent also to the domain knowledge, of course, uh, and it is dependent also to the data size that you are using. And uh, this tutorial is just showing what are the simple ways in order to de detect them. So simply, you can, uh, for example, uh, let's say filter the ones, filter the rows which are having the z-score less than less or equal to three and here we can see the number of observation is around forty eight thousand or you can use um, hmm, visualization as we have seen here that i think i can remove the prices which are less than three and uh, more than seven more or less in order to remove them uh, from my data set so this is another way in order to remove my data my outlier not the data and then the next step is going to be the same as before uh, which is that we are going to use our filter data in order to um, create the predictive model i hope you have learned something new using this tutorial uh, thank you for joining and see you soon.